So, welcome back to MS Series Season 2, everybody. It has been a very long time since we've been back here. Oh god, my netherite armor is not doing the best. I forgot I had all this stuff. What is this? When did I get this? Oh, I know when I got that. Okay. So, I have a lot to tell you guys about. So, the very first thing, uh, this right here. This is crystalline armor. So if you guys remember, about a month ago, I think this video was released. I don't actually remember when I released the uh, the video, but it was a video titled We Need to Talk, and it was just kind of describing a few things. And one of the things I described was uh, MS Series Season 2, and I mentioned how I'm probably going to be canceling the series, which is true. This is probably the last video on MS Series Season 2, but I wanted to give it a proper send-off on, like, Season 1. Yeah, in that video, I talked about the crystallite armor I made, which was very upsetting because it was actually... It turns out that this armor is basically rendered useless to me because, um, netherite is better than this armor. So just to show you guys... Yeah, you can see right here, I'll put netherite right above it. So you can see this is 3 and 1.2. This is 3 and 3. It's just really upsetting that, um, because just to show you guys what I did here, I'll put on this crystallite armor just because, you know, why not? Yeah, just to show you guys what I did, hang on. I forget how to access all this stuff. Okay, like this. Uh, an internal portal. Internal portal? No, eternal portal. So this is the portal that I lit. Uh, if you guys remember, the past, like, two episodes of MS Series Season 2, I've been talking about this little portal here. And this is the portal, just to show you guys. I did light it. And if I go through it, you can see that, um, yeah, I did, like, this whole little thing here. And if we come over here... This is the ritual place. This is where I did the rituals to get this crystalline armor. As well as to make those things right there, which I put on the pedestals. Those are, like, crystal something. In fact, I think I can probably find them if I type them in here. Uh, right here. This eternal crystal here. And this is how it was made. I had to get these ender shards, and then I had to take these crystal shards. And these ender shards... Yeah, these ender shards, they were like that one ore that I found in the better end. I take those ender shards, and I put one here, 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 and here. And then I take those eternal, or then I took these little crystal shards and I put one here, 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 and here. And that was how I got the, uh, the stuff for that. The little e-crystal, e-crystal. I cannot speak today. The little eternal crystal things which I'm looking at right here. I'll actually hold one up. You can see this is what it looks like. I right click on it, activates the portal. And then we go through and, um, yeah, here we are. And as you can see, it doesn't put me anywhere, you know, it doesn't put me anywhere special. It just puts me right in the middle of absolutely nowhere. You can see it's a place I have never been before. So this was highly, like, a, this was a really, really big letdown. I just want to say that now. I expected this to be really, really cool, and it wasn't. Same with this uh, armor, which don't even get me started, by the way, on this crystallite armor, because it was horrible. You can see right here, uh, infusion. I had to find an amber gem and then two of these crystal shards with terminite helmets. How do you get terminite helmets? You get terminite ingots. And where do you get terminite? I'll show you. Terminite is made like this. By smelting iron ingots and ender dust together. How do you get ender dust? You take these ender shards and you mold them in a, uh, or no, and you hit them with a hammer. And that gives you ender dust. So you take these ender shards and a hammer, turn it into ender dust, and then you take one of these, en and you take that ender dust, and you combine it with an iron ingot. That gives you one terminite ingot. And I had to make eight of these for one piece of armor, meaning I had to do this process right here 24 times. And that was just for the terminite. Then I also had to get these, uh, these little amber gems for the crystallite stuff, which the amber gems were super easy. I just had to find like 16 of the amber, like some kind of amber ore, which that was located, not in the nether, that was located, uh, somewhere around here. It was located in, like, an orange biome somewhere that I found. Yeah, it was located in here. It was super easy to find. All I had to do was just dig down until I find it. In fact, if I dug down a little bit, I can probably find some. Yeah, right there. I literally just dug down four blocks and I found it. So, I took this and then you craft it like that and you get an amber gem. I, that was super easy. But, yeah, like, this whole process of just making this armor, it was really, really, like, annoying. It was a super tedious process and I expected the, uh, the like, reward to be a lot better, and it wasn't. This armor isn't really the best because, you know, obviously, again, netherite is better than it. So, you guys are probably thinking, why exactly am I back on MS Series Season 2? What is the big reasoning for me being back? And the only thing I can really say is that, you know, I already said it, I just want to give MS Series Season 2 a proper send-off because I, I didn't do that in the last one. Also, this is a biome over here I've never seen before. What is this? Oh my god. Yeah, I never, we never saw this in the last one. Let me put this on. Also, let me take this flamingo off, because it's really annoying to use this and the other thing. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm flying so slowly. Oh, because of the umbrella. Okay, that's helpful, actually. But, yeah, this is, um, as I said, a biome I've never seen before. But I am back on MS Series Season 2 for not...
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, wait. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Guys, we may or may not have a problem. I did not remove the Five Nights at Freddy's mod from that one video because it was also in 1.16 so it's just like oh yeah I'll use my current 1.16 save and I'll just make a different world oh you guys are actually okay I expected you Fredbear Springlock boots okay well uh yeah this was I did not mean to keep this mod on but I guess that is something that you know I can bring up high spring trap let's go I got spring bonnie pants now all right uh let's let's get out of this this area so if you haven't been able to tell i've really just been like you know kind of blabbing this entire time i don't really know where i've been going with this whole thing so i might as well just get like the main thing i wanted to say out of the way so why exactly am i making a whole nother video on ms series now might you be asking i think i want to just kind of go around and explore and try to find all of the stuff that we never discovered because we haven't found a lot of stuff as you can see like just scrolling through this little tab list there's a lot of stuff if you just pause throughout me scrolling here you'll see stuff i've never found before and then obviously here's all the new fnaf stuff which i did not mean to get <laughs> wait you can make these oh my god you can make these okay we're gonna make this uh bon spring bonnie plushie at some point but like just on this page alone hang on this is all fnaf stuff okay just on this page alone look at all the stuff we've never found before you know all these like stuff from update aquatic all this like all these new saplings these bed rolls we never even used one of these the jelly torches we never touched those a river ladder all these like different walls a tooth lantern like what is all this stuff you know orange force field oh this is from the twilight forest yeah this this too like you guys never saw this these like boats where are these you know look at these how do i make these Thalassium. I still don't know how to make thalassium. Also, glass sword. That's another thing. How do I make the glass sword? It's not even in here. Oh, yeah, it is. How do I get the... Okay, I don't think I can make the glass sword. I think I actually have to, like, find it or something. But, yeah, you can see that does 40 damage. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, maybe I need these glass shards. No, these are from Quark. Never mind. There are so many, like, little uh, artifacts we've never, you know, tried before. Uh, cross necklace, panic necklace, like, shock pendant, um, antidote vessel. Wait, what, what was that? Greatly reduces the duration. Oh, okay. Uh, increases the wearer's maximum health. We could definitely go for one of those. A charm of sinking. The wearer can move freely in water. Okay. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot of stuff we haven't done. And I think the thing I want to start out with this episode is... Wait, what? Oh my god, there are like mounts and stuff. I keep getting distracted. We have all these ships. We've never used them. How do I make a sail? We're going to try to make one of these boats. So we need uh, logs, wool, and two leads. And that's just for a sail. Okay, there's the lead. So we can make two sails. Uh, I know I have logs. Yeah, there's logs. Oh, we don't have too many of them, though. I probably have, like, a netherite axe. Okay, I don't have a netherite axe in here, apparently. <laughs> oh, wait, what was that? Night metal axe. Okay, we'll use this. And we need to go get some wood as well as get some wool so i know one place that is guaranteed to give me um a lot of wool we are going to head all the way back to somewhere we have not been in quite a long time which is the twilight forest oh yeah i forgot about this horse that i grabbed in like the first or second episode and never used since yeah we're here for one thing one thing only and i bet we can find a bunch of what we're looking for in this biome i don't have any food oh wait there was a bunch over here i'm gonna shear him and then kill him because i don't have uh food i'm only looking for the white ones because i don't have the stuff to dye like i don't i'm not able to dye the rest of the wool into um like red or blue or something do what i need to do so maybe i should actually get flowers because i see a lot of brown ones so maybe i could try to get a lot of brown dye how do you even get brown dye oh wait no i was gonna say oh i think i know but i just realized no i have no idea <laughs> i came here for logs i just realized and i don't even think the twilight forest has any regular oak i think it's all twilight oak so we're gonna have to just completely ditch the twilight forest now back to the overworld oh you can see there's a uh there's a fred bear nearby <laughs> we're not gonna need a lot we're just gonna need a small amount go ahead and just do this real quick and now to make one of these i need Okay, no, I just need regular boats, chests, sail, and string. Okay, I can do that. I kind of want to make the cherry dough, but I don't know if it's actually going to work or not. So we need a chest, we need two sails, and then uh, two more leads and string. Now, obviously, I'm going to need more... Uh, that scared me. I forgot that I just made that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to need more string as well as more leads, which I know leads can be made, and I think I might actually have the... like. The correct stuff to make them so i'm gonna have to go find a cave real quick and then i'm gonna go mining try to find some spiders so i'm not actually gonna be going mining mining i'm just gonna be trying to find spiders so i can get string to make lead even though i have string at home but i don't know if i have enough 
to make more leads. Also, what is next to me? What is that? Is that Fredbear's family diner? Okay, hang on. We're going in there. <laughs> Where is the entrance? I just ran across the whole thing. You think they're alive? Oh, wait. Wait, I can just take the, um... I might have made a mistake by doing that. Oh, never mind. He just has more health. And I got a Freddy plushie. Okay, yeah. So, I can take these. I don't even need to do what I was going to do originally. I can just take these. And I guess I'll take you, because why not? <laughs> uh, I don't really think there's anything else in here. The desk. I'll take the desk and the chair. Even though I don't think that's... Yeah, that's just a regular chair, not an office chair. I want the office chair so I can ride around. So, we got ourselves some mine... Not some Minecraft stuff, some FNAF stuff, so that's cool. Anyways, back to what we were doing. So I'm in a cave. I don't know how much of a cave this cave actually is. This might just be like a little bit tiny hole in the ground, but nope, from the looks of it, it looks to be like an actual proper cave, maybe. I hope. Okay, it looks like there's a lot over here, so let's go this way. Oh, it's a water cave. Okay, well, I could survive a decent long time underwater, I think, so we should be fine. Oh my god, and there's a spider spawner here. I literally came into the caves for a spider. Or four spiders. And there's a spider spawner here. We need to get cobblestone, though, so we can uh, block off that water. Because I think it might be preventing them from spawning as much as they should be. That should be it. Yes. Okay, finally. God, that took forever. Yeah, now they're spawning. Could have also been the light, because the dungeon was really exposed to that lava. We have 11. That should be enough. Uh, we need to find slime as well. But I think we have slime balls back at home. So I'm not too worried about it. All right, so now there's that taken care of. We got to head over here, because this is where I think I would keep my... Yep, slime balls. Okay. Crafting table right there. Let's find sail. Lead. Make a couple of those. Now we need to make sails right here. Let's go ahead and make another one of those. And then we need to... Do we want to do... No, we wanted to do the cherry dough. So we need a chest, two sails, leads, three boats. So now we got to find a cherry blossom biome, which I don't think I've found one of the... Wait, I can't find one of those because MS series season... Yeah, I can't find one of those. I think I have that special wood somewhere, right? Yeah, right here, this umbran wood. Make boats out of this. All right, there we go. There's those. And now we find the umbran dough. Oh, we're missing a chest. I don't have a chest. No, wait, it would be here. Yes. And then uh, Umbrin Dough right here. Copy. Bam. We got the Umbrin Dough, baby. All right. We're just going to dump all of our stuff in here again like we just did. I also forgot I had that guy. We need to take this. Put that up there. We got our little boat here. We're going to need food. We have no food. Wait, hang on. I had all that the Hydro Chops. I had all those Hydro Chops, right? What did I do with those? Now we got food. Let's head out to the ocean. Uh, let's go to an ocean we've never explored before, so, like, this one. We very rarely ever did. The hell just happened? Okay. We've done, like, nothing with this. Umbrin dough. I don't expect this to come out purple. How do I use it? Am I dumb? Guys, I think I might be a little stupid. I don't know how to use these. Do I have to go to, like, a bottomless ocean or something? This is, like, this is my own thought here, but hang on. Let me... The reason it may not be working is because it's the Umbrin dough. So maybe if I grab just like a regular dough ship, it'll work. So let me try that. Uh, just grab, no, not a birch dough. Let's try a spruce dough. Okay, that worked. Oh, that's really weird why that wasn't working, but okay. Anyways, we got a ship, baby. Look at us. Oh God, can I sit wherever I want? No, I can't. This is the ship. We have a ship. This is incredibly slow. I'm so confused right now. Do we have like a storage or anything? Oh, we do have a storage. Cool. Well, this is interesting, I guess. Oh God, what is happening? Why am I going over? Why? What the hell just happened to me? Let me in my boat. It's interesting. I'll say that. You know, I got a purple boat. You don't see that a lot. It's cool. I'll say that. It is, it is very cool. Like this mods, you know, it's cool. I like it, but kind of, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, it's really, really slow. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it should be, you know, super, super fast or anything, but like, oh my god. Also, is that coral normal? Is coral normally like those colors? Like, I'm gonna have to run in there real quick and see, because I know like that blue, that purple, that pink, like I know those are normal, but is it normally lime green or like cyan like that? Light blue? Is there any underneath me? There's some cyan right there or some lime green. Hang on. Is this a normal thing? Upgrade aquatic, upgrade aquatic. Yeah, I knew these weren't normal. Okay, can I like t have this ship back? We got it. All right. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's really all there was for this. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of like show off a little bit more of MS series and kind of what to expect in MS series season three, which that would be um, just again, more mods. Everything that we didn't discover in this video 
and just in this series in general. So yeah, it's a lot. All right, so now that we're home, I think it is finally time to uh, properly end MS series season two. But before I do that, as I said, I just want to give a bit of a show off to everything important that we found. So we are going to start with the most important thing or one of the most important things, which was this right here. This was our very first home, and this was the very first show off of uh, Twilight Forest, of like, you know, the big thing on MS3 season two, which was the Twilight Forest right here. This is the first time I'd ever made a Twilight Forest portal, and it's definitely not gonna be the last. Um, and yeah, th how is that? This is, this was our first home, you know, it's still got some of like our first stuff we've ever found in it. Obviously I took some stuff with me and then you come over here and you got one of like the only traces of Biomes of Plenty ever like left on MS3 season two, which is this little ominous mire biome here with the bramble. Oh my God, the bramble. You look around our map, you can see we traveled a lot like a lot a lot we did a lot of exploration multiple multiple waypoints just everywhere you can think of you know a bunch of structures that i'm sure we went across like we just kind of went right over never discovered at all and then there was a lot of structures that we did discover a lot of things we did like we found a bunch of like these new uh, biomes and stuff like this right here this weird biome in the cave i don't even know what the hell this thing is called but it's cool uh right here these new and upgraded like mine shafts this was one of like the new mine shafts we had ever found we found this sus mushroom island why do i call it sus exactly this is why what the hell are these things i don't know oh yeah let's not forget the fact that if we went all the way back to spawn right here this was the first ever new modded structure we found and uh i don't know how obvious it is that didn't go so well there were so many things that i found in this world and there are so many things that i haven't discovered yet and that's one of the biggest reasons that i'm excited for ms series season three and you know however long it takes for it to be made there's potential from the previous like ms series there's potential from all the mods that are going to be added and then there's potential from all of the mods in this world that i've never even like touched yet so like all in all ms series season three there is a lot of stuff that we can do in it so we found a bunch of stuff throughout ms series season two all in all i just really want to like thank the people who did watch ms series season two because i know i know a lot of people didn't see ms series season two so the people that did actually stick around and watch ms series season two uh thank you seriously thank you i'm glad to know that like my content is pretty you know cool to you guys it's interesting you guys are actually interested in what i'm you know uploading uh hopefully by the time i make ms3 season 3 my channel has a little bit more popularity than it does now and i'm actually able to get more viewership on ms series season 2 because you know in my opinion i put a lot of effort into ms series season 2 even if it doesn't seem like it just ms series in general i do i do put a lot of effort into it so we'll make one more armor stand the last armor I've ever made for MS3 Season 2 is going to go right there. And I don't know if there's a Crystallite Sword or not. No, there's not. So we'll just put one of these Eternal Crystals in his hand. Here's all of the armor we found all throughout MS3 Season 2. We got the first ever, like, modded piece of armor, which was the Naga Scale. And then we have this Phantom armor, I think it's called. No, Steel... Yeah, so Steel Leaf, and then... I think this is... Yeah, this is Steel Leaf. This right here is Night Metal, right? Is this Night Metal? ironwood and then we got this guy here's the rest of the naga scale stuff here's the this is the lich head i just didn't have anything else to put here so i put his staff and then this is the ironwood this was from the little maze labyrinth thing we found this was the hydra along with the fire scale armor which was just called fire armor i think fiery armor maybe yeah just fiery armor this was like this was like the first really op set of armor i got and i was wearing this for a very long time and here is the fiery blood as well as the urgast and the hydra trophy this was the phantom guy so this is the yeah this is the phantom stuff and then here's his night phantom night metal stuff uh right here this was the yeti so we have like the stuff i used to actually defeat the yeti and then this is the yeti jacket which was from defeating this yeti the snow queen is probably yep here's the snow queen as well as this ice stuff and then ice bombs which these are very cool and then finally netherite with the dragon head from the end of the game all of my op stuff i found throughout or like regular vanilla op stuff i found we got some extra stuff over here i don't actually know what the hell this is this is thalassium oh so i did figure out how to make it cool dragon egg uh ender biotite never figured out what to do with that the lassium ingot my first pet other than the horse which was kind of abandoned these are the fire foxes they're very cool i really like these things i think they're called like firehounds or something 
foxhounds yeah these things are really cool i like these a lot definitely we'll be getting them back in series season three we have the questing ram here i just put him here because i didn't know where else to put him and then finally we have uh the endstone smelter with 11 terminal oh my god i'm black of coal Finally, we have the Crystallite armor. This was the final piece of armor I made in MS3 Season 2, and in all honesty, I don't think I'll ever be making it again just because it wasn't worth it. I'll probably just stick to Netherite or, you know, future mods I add in MS3 Season 3. Um, maybe there will be stuff more powerful than Netherite. Hopefully. We know I also realized that we never made a proper house. We actually always just took a house. Because in season one, we made our own house. In season two, we just took over other people's houses. So in season three, maybe we'll make our own house. I have no idea. And then as you can see, all of our potions, which we never used, we have our flamingo, our umbrella, uh, another night metal axe, umbrin planks, just some extra stuff that we got, potion stuff, and then here, netherite chest plate diamond minotaur axe that should be downstairs just some more stuff and then you come in here this is our chest room which i'm not going to show everything in this chest room this i never actually showed this off because it was an off camera thing but there were a few things i did off camera for a future episode and it just never got released and this was one of them this is an ice crystal which was killed i'm not going to say what i killed to get it you guys can look it up if you want but it'll come back in season 300 so i'm not going to spoil what i did to get it but it's pretty cool nonetheless we got all of our like modded saplings here you can see this is the stuff from uh oh wait i could actually get got a i could have gotten this wood for the uh the boats i wanted to make a cherry one of these doughs i could have actually done that because i have a white cherry sapling yeah so these are all of our modded saplings down here modded flowers right there these are all of the modded weapons and artifacts we found so you can see these are the scepters from the lich castle this is the axe of a thousand metals uh this can be in here too these are the giants like giant sword and pickaxe which if you don't remember yeah they're yeah <laughs> just some special bows we got from the snow queen i think is who dropped these and then we have these right here which i never used the ancient dart so hopefully we get a chance in season two to, season three to use that extra artifacts which i'm not going to go over all of them because again season three i don't want to spoil anything because that this these all have potentials here all of the heads and the masks we got i don't know why this is in here i think i gave it to myself in creative just to make myself feel better after not being able to kill the guy and then uh these are all of the extra trophies we got but yeah just extra modded stuff down here ignore these these are just i was too lazy to deposit it again extra modded stuff right here and for the most part i think that is that is actually it i don't think there's anything left in ms series for me to uh to talk about so i suppose that that truly is the end for ms series season three um I keep saying season three. That is the end for MS series season two. If you guys did enjoy this video and you enjoyed MS series season two as a whole, then please do consider subscribing because it's completely free and I want to hit 400, if not 500 as soon as possible. And um, let me know if you think I should continue in season three. I'm going to no matter what, but let me know if you think I should anyways. I hope you all did enjoy MS series season two and I hope you all did enjoy this entire video. And if you did, then once again, do all those things, so support to me and I will see you in the next video. So thank you all for watching and peace out.